All right, so uh, I just installed the 240p mod for the Panasonic uh, 3DO. Um, this is actually an FZ1 model, uh, not an FZ10. I have an FZ10. Um, apparently most FZ1 models don't have the, uh, the chip in it, the VP536. Um, can't remember exactly what it was. That chip in it, typically it has some BT chip in it. Mine, for whatever reason, did. I just actually picked this up today randomly at a shop. It was real cheap, and I was like, eh, why not? Um, I can, they have a money-back guarantee, so I could always just take it back. While I opened it up, it had the right chip in it. So, currently, um, I'm capturing normal interlaced uh, 480i right now. And on my screen, you can kind of, you can see it in front of me. I'm not sure about the capture yet. I'll have to go back and take a look. But on the screen, there is a monster difference in what you're looking at between 480i and 240p. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap it over to 240p and uh, hopefully it shows up on the capture what the difference is. It might not, but like I said, on my screen in front of me, holy crap, it's a monster difference. Anyway, here we go. There we go. I uh, flipped the switch. Um, apparently, sometimes it can get a little blurry or something like that, and you have to like flip it a few times. Uh, I'm not really certain. Actually, I'm going to flip it a few more times and see if anything changes. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So it was actually blurry uh, until I just flipped it that that last time, and now everything is crystal clear. Uh, I'm looking at it on a Sony Trinitron Vega. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just want to, this is kind of an off the cuff video. I just kind of wanted to see, you know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully see that this thing works and that it was worth the time. It really didn't take very much time. I think it took me maybe 45 minutes and that was with cutting a, or a drilling a small hole and getting the, the, um, everything kind of routed properly. And, uh, so it looks real nice on the inside. So yeah, I'm going to actually, uh, take my FC 10 out and I'm going to do the same mod to it. Cause why not? And uh, yeah, uh, I'll need another switch for that. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful and uh, take care, everybody.